Hello, hello, hello. I am back with a huge, huge, huge uh, free comic book day pick up. Um, it's pretty big. I've got a huge stack of the free comic books that I haven't had a chance to sort through too much. And then I took advantage of like half price off back issues. Um, now, just to give you some context, um, there's like of Sydney, there's like four stores in like a three hour radius. So, slim pickings, but that's just the way Australia goes because there's not too many choices. Um, and so, that's why, as you'll see, their prices are a lot more expensive because there's not a lot out there. So, you might be able to get it super cheap compared to here, but that's just the way it goes. We have a small pool to pick from, um, especially back issues. Anyway, so before I before I get into that, let's get into the free comic book day stuff. Going to the galaxy. There we go. I haven't had a chance to uh, read any of these yet, but there we go. Guardians of the Galaxy. Then I have Street Fighter Wrestling Special Edition, just because I can. So some stores had a limit of two per person and then some had six so oh no and then one had four i think they made like little show bags up um with two in it and then you could pick two extra so there we go buffy because buffy's always good although the high school years makes me a little bit nervous but wasn't she in high school in the tv show i don't know i have to watch have to watch it all again. I got the complete seven seasons. <laughs> uh, Catalyst Prime by Lion Forge. Never heard of them before, but again, why not? It's free comic book day. It's for free. Always give it a, a shot. Um, two Wonder Woman's. Now, one of the stores they had. Uh, I forget her name. Nicola Scott. I think her name was right there um, at the front so you can get it signed or whatever uh, but I thought oh I'll come back because she might be at the next con because she was at the last one a couple of months ago um, she might be the next con I'll just bring by number one but what I found out was she does all because there's two storylines going at once so all the odd numbers of Wonder Woman are one storyline and all the even numbers or another storyline. She's in the even number one. So even though it says number one there, this is actually number four. But I think the story inside might be number one. I have to go and double check. Anyway, it's all complicated. Um, so I'm like, oh, that's annoying because if I ever get to sign stuff, it would be cool to get to sign number one. But she never did a number one. She did. <laughs> Are you keeping up? <laughs> uh, I do like the Wonder Woman stuff though. Uh, Exo Man War or Man of War? I think it's Man War. Uh, I got two of those. Apparently, there's a, a first appearance in one of these. Um, apparently, this is a big comic. If you watched my last pickup before, this is a a big deal. Um, so I'll be keen to get in that. And I just noticed he's missing a hand. He's got no hand. I think so. I might need to lend him a hand. A A. Yep. Okay. I'll keep going. <laughs> Zelda Twilight Princess. This was only one. We could only find this at one store because they were all sold out pretty quickly. So, and this was in the show back. And it goes backwards because it's Japanese. Like the manga style or manga, whatever country you're from. It says it differently. Kid Savage from Image. There we go. Don't know anything about it. Give it a go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from IDW. There's no numbering on this one, so this is interesting. Oh, some of them don't have numbering. There we go. Oh, it does have... Oh, they made their own little symbol. Free Comic Book Day 2017. Interesting. Now, here's one I've never heard of, but I think it's hilarious. Captain Canuck? Canuck? I don't know. 
never even heard of the, the uh, I need to like put this up how, how does that how do we go there um, never heard of chapter house before but it's one of three so I have to track down two and three but there we go Captain Canoe is this an old one is this a new one let me know if they're bringing this out this will be awesome I'll give them a try <laughs> And then finally, two copies of Secret Empire, which again, no numbering. I think last year, was it Civil War 2 or something had, it was zero. The free comic book of Marvel was zero. And then you bought the new ones from then on. I can't remember now. I have to go back and have a look. I have them somewhere. Um, and now, taking advantage of back issues, so out of the four stores I mentioned, only one has real back issues, all the rest has like, uh, well one had like, one of the ones in Sydney had like back issues, but they were wrecked, and I got a couple from there, um, which I'll go through now, and then, yeah, so, again, King's Comics, which is the biggest one here at Sydney, uh, their idea of back issues is just rebirth that is old rebirth so like two three four five six whatever because number ones always go um and then on the main shelf is just whatever the latest one is but so that's their idea of back issues so again that's what we have to deal with here anyway um so as you can see this normal price for 528 part of the death in the family storyline is 50 bucks. Now, this store had 70% off everything, so I was like, oh, I'll take advantage of that. So it only been like $15, which I think, um, to all you folk overseas, that is pretty expensive, but again, slim pickings here. Um, so, yep, yeah, so I got one of the four I need, <laughs> and it's in pretty good nick, like blacks are black, corners are good, um, of course, it's all brown, like the pages are sort of brown. Um, but other than that, it's in pretty good. I'm going to reboard and bag this. Um, but I wanted to leave the price so you can see uh, what we have to deal with here <laughs> in the Land of Orbs. Um, and then this one is Uncanny X Men number 14, cameo appearance of. Uh, Gambit, and although it says on the sticker first Gambit, that is wrong, it's the cameo. The first full appearance is 266 question mark, something along those lines. Uh, correct me in the comments below, but you know what I'm getting at. So, normal price, $40, I paid 12 and it's in pretty good nick, apart from the pages, again, brown. Um, but corners are good, there's no spine ticks. Um, Although I did notice underneath here, some of the pages looked a bit, it's hard to see, like squashed in at the bottom, which is annoying. Other than that, it's in pretty good nick. I haven't opened it up since I bought it, but yeah, and it costs $12. Again, overseas, probably heaps cheaper, but that's what we have to deal with here. So if anyone wants to, like, be our, you know, correspondents, we pay money because we can get it cheaper from you guys than buying it here um, let us know uh, and then I got this one because some of the stores had 20% off or 25% off new stuff so I got number 22 I couldn't find number 21 because that was all sold out so I got 22 ah oh, and also just so you can know Australian prices Three ninety nine equals to about seven ninety five Australian. So I probably paid, I don't know, whatever twenty five percent off of this is. But I just thought it was a cool cover. Ooh, woo, woo. There we go. And then back to Card Kingdom. Or oh, no, not Card Kingdom. What's it called? Kingdom Comics, Comic Kingdom, something along those lines. They had this one. Um, which is in a pretty, apart from this corner here, a little blunt in the corner, but no spine ticks, no nothing, um, pages are all pretty good, 
uh, I don't know, five bucks on this, which is the Jeff Johns number one, which is pretty awesome, of Green Lantern. And then this one, you have to let me know in the comments about this one. So, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually the Justice League America number one. Now, it has like, it's the white cover version where you can get people to sketch on, but it had this weird sort of paper, I guess, to protect the white cover from being dirty. So I just left it on there, but let, just, uh, let me know in the comments below if it, I, I should take it off, if I shouldn't take it off. Um, but yeah, the Justice League of America uh, Rebirth, number one, um, the one with Lobo and all that sort of gear. Um, so yeah, it's got this weird sort of white, uh, it's stapled on, but it's the white cover version. Anyway, let us know in the comments below what I should do. Again, I'm a noob, I have no idea. So I just bag and boarded it all together. And then here's number three, because it's a, an awesome cover. Look at that, blood going everywhere, Lobo. Just tearing shreds on this dude. Again, as you know, I love, I love Lobo for some reason these days. So... I just reckon he's a cool character. You know, some people just like characters, and I think I think Lobo is pretty epic. Except for the new 52 one, that was weird. Emo, emo Lobo. So there we go, number three. I'll keep moving. All right, back here on number one, Rebirth. I think this is cover B. Very in cover. Don't know. Let me know in the comments below. It's like, with the hype around Batgirl, it's like, ooh, number one, I'll grab it. So all the rest of these cost like $3 each, around about half price on back issues. No, three fifty. There's one that was 10 and one that was $6, and I'll tell you those when I get to them. Um, but, yeah, 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 so these were like $3.50 each, because they're usually 7 bucks for the back issues. Oh, and the, there's a whole bunch of first appearances in number one, too. There's, like, Schoolgirl Villain, Fruit Bat, Kai Ma, etc., etc. This has... I bought this one because it's the first um, appearance of the Victim Syndicate and all those associated with the Victim Syndicate, like the first victim and I think there's, like, Mud Face and something along those lines. So, 9.43 of Detective Comics, uh, Flash, Rebirth number 5. I took this opportunity to get, like, all first appearances of the Rebirth before they all get taken away. Um, it says first appearance of Fast Track. So, re Flash, Rebirth 5. This is Brightest Day number 4. This one was $3, so this was $6.00. Cover uh, on the sticker. Um, they did have the variant cover, but that was like twenty bucks on special was because it was fifty percent off um, back stock, so it was like ten bucks. But I was like, this was three, so I was like, buy. <laughs> First appearance of Aqualad. Green Lantern number four. This has a whole bunch of first appearances. And you can look them up. There's a ton. And then Green Lanterns number nine, which is Frank Laminsky first appearance, who then turns into in number ten, the Phantom Lantern. The first appearance of Phantom Lantern. And then in number fifteen there was the Gambler. Just a random character, so I was like, ah, I'll grab that first appearance. Suicide number two. Who was the first appearance of that? I kind of got a little bit of a cheat sheet, just so I remember. Uh, Hack Salika in Harcourt. So there we go. First appearance in that. Getting towards the pointy end. Um, 12. Who was the first appearance at 12? A whole bunch. Like Jin, Manticore, Raven, Juki, something along those lines. Burning World. There we go. 
And this was at, this was a little bit cheaper. I think this was like three bucks as well. I think this is the variant. I could be wrong. But I think this is. Then, Nightwing number 10, which has like Gorilla Grim first appearance, Defacer, who he has a little bit of a fling with. If you haven't read any of these. I do like the Nightwing comics. Um, so yeah, a couple there. I think there was someone else, but I can't remember. Um, number 11, which was the Runoffs Orca. Like, there was a bad person called Orca. Criminal. <laughs> bad person. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> so there we go, number 11. And last two. Uh, oh, that one slid a little long. Is Green Arrow uh, number two, who was Dante. Number one had the ninth circle, and then number two had him in it as the first apprentice. And finally, Green Arrow number 15, Amika Queen as the Red Arrow first appearance. So there we go. I had a huge haul, as you can see. I hate to think how many comics. I'm not going to count them on screen. Um, I'll put it in the title. So there we go. Huge, huge, huge pickup. The other guys got pickups as well, so they'll do videos soon. So look out for those. Let us know in the comic... Comics below? Comments below. <laughs> um, uh, what you guys picked up. What did we miss? Um, yeah, let us know. And until next time, for more comic pickups and free comic book days and whatever else we do. Bye.